Well, it is budget season in the city of Detroit. The fiscal year about to end in a couple of months. So today, Mayor Mike Duggan gave city council his budget proposal with a touch more spending, but also some job cuts. Local 4's Rod Maloney with a much closer look and what's likely to happen here, Rod. Yeah, hey, Jason, you know, they have redone City Hall. We haven't been there in a couple of years, but they redid the City Council chambers, and it is a new day all around there because now they have six new members on City Council, a new majority. But the thing is, everybody in City Hall knows that they still have to follow the bankruptcy rules in terms of keeping the state away from managing the city's budget. So they know they have to stay very careful with the spending. What we are presenting today is a post-crisis budget post COVID a budget is really a return to normal. Mayor Mike Duggan presenting what he called the eighth balanced budget in a row, something Detroit wasn't known for before the bankruptcy. Federal COVID funding kept the city afloat the past couple of years and it's now run out. Here's what he's proposing. A $1.2 billion budget for 2023, about 77 million more than last year. Here are some specific areas he proposes better funding. 67 million to restore the budget to pre-pandemic levels. 26 million to restore DDOT and the people mover to local support. 9 million to restore police and fire positions and another 11 and a half million to restore general fund positions. But some jobs won't be back. Last year we had 10,600 employees in the budget the council adopted. This year's proposal is 10,500 employees. This is not an increase. This is basically uh, the way we're going to have to operate long term and it's going to be tight. Council members had many questions about pet projects. Council President Mary Sheffield said the new members want to do some shifting of monies, which is in reality their job. We hear oftentimes the need to invest in public transit. Um, I think that there probably will be um, some desire to see more money allocated to public transit. Parks and recreation is another one. Now, one of the things the city's been wrestling with is the COVID problem of workers not being in the office. And the city depends on income tax revenue, which they have lost. But for them, the good news is they were able to get a deal with Lansing and they've been able to scoop up a lot of the Internet gambling revenue to make up for that deficit. And so they say at least at this point they're going to be OK. And maybe down the line they can actually do better once people do come downtown. Back to you. Yeah, and Rod, uh, it's definitely not a done deal, but what's next in this process? Well, the, the council uh, will certainly go to work with the mayor's budget team and start their negotiations in terms of moving money around if they want to see that. But there are also going to be 46 different hearings around the city of Detroit to hear what residents have to say about what the budget proposal is telling them. Yeah, get some input. All right, Rod, thanks.